Thanks for being with us on KDK News at 6:30. Well, decades ago, new cars were a lot less reliable, and when something went wrong, there was a lot less you could do about it. Well, then came lemon laws, but only for four-wheel vehicles. Yeah, motorcycles, different story in Pennsylvania. Seth Kaplan tells us about an effort to change that. New at 6:30. Easy to see, Ken Edwards is a motorcyclist. But look a little closer, and he's more. I'm the state legislative coordinator for ABA to PA. ABA calls itself a motorcycle rights organization. Edwards says motorcycles are far more reliable than back in the 1980s when he started riding. It's rare now that you get something that would fall into that category of a lemon. But on those rare occasions? Sometimes they can't fix it on the first, second, third, or sometimes even more than a dozen tries at that point w would be where an automobile purchaser would get uh, some protection from lemon law. Uh, motorcycles are exempt from that. Don't get that. And that's how it's been for motorcyclists all these decades. But maybe finally how it won't be soon. We believe that consumers who purchase motorcycles should have the same protections that have been widely successful for per for people who purchase automobiles. And State Representative Nick Pisitano says this bill he's sponsoring would level the riding field for bikers. There's bipartisan support and versions moving through both the House and Senate. Then again, that happened last session. But neither bill got uh, across the finish line fully into the governor for his signature. I don't think there's a lot of controversy on this. Uh, other states have lemon law protection on motorcycles. The Motorcycle Industry Council isn't sure PA should join that list, telling us lemon laws, quote, can be detrimental if they are too far reaching. The group says warranty repairs already do the job better than a bill it says, quote, sets arbitrary limits and encourages lawsuits. In Harrisburg, Seth Kaplan, KDK TV News.